Hey there, welcome back to High Infidelity, the best channel for cheating stories. Like and subscribe to channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into today's story video. My STBX is raging that I'm pregnant with another man's child and wants me to get rid of it. It took almost a decade for my female 37 and STBX's male 37 and me to become parents, which included three expensive and stressful, both physically and mentally, in vitro fertilization treatments. In fact, the most recent one took place two years ago, having tried three times in vain to make it work. Finally, I told him that I had had enough and couldn't take it anymore. I didn't want to try again, and maybe we shouldn't have children at all after our first failed attempt. We were in love with one other, and maybe that was enough, or perhaps we could adopt. He wasn't content, and a year later, he confessed that he loved me, but hoped he could have a child with me. I told him that I would not be able to do this again in the near future. My ex-boyfriend left our relationship just as I was coming to terms with the knowledge that I was an unwed mother. It took weeks of sobbing before he started. Seeing this other lady, which caused me to even more. I started seeing this guy around five months ago, and because of the circumstances surrounding my relationship, I chose not to use contraception. I got pregnant, I'm presently 13 weeks along, and I'm excited. When my husband discovered the truth, he became enraged, my idiot brother informed everyone. As of right now, he wants me to get rid of it or give it away to a good home. Our divorce is not yet finalized and he wishes for us to give our marriage a chance to succeed again. He loves me and would choose to have me as a kid above any of his other children. And given that I was previously pregnant, it is feasible that I will get pregnant again if I meet the appropriate partner. I was still dating the other guy when I found out I was pregnant, and he expressed an interest in being a part of the baby's life, regardless of whether or not we end up together despite the fact that I've only known this person for less than six months. My family believes I'm insane for choosing her over my husband of more than 10 years. What they're asking me to do is ludicrous and completely out of line with the law. They understand that I cannot afford to be a single parent and that I want their aid, but they seem to be on my side about my STBX. Despite the fact that I still love him, I couldn't understand how he could ask me such a question. I need aid in sorting through my feelings and thoughts. The most recent update. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for your assistance. I knew I wasn't mad for choosing to retain my child, despite the fact that my family thought I was. Even though I like my family, I'm concerned that getting pregnant outside of marriage will be too much for them to handle, particularly because they haven't gotten over the fact that I'm no longer with my STBX. They are also heartbroken because he and I were the perfect couple that everyone wished they could have been. Now it's time for my STBX. He's not doing so. Great right now. I'm afraid I won't be able to help him. He needs persons who are more qualified to help him. I advised him that, for the sake of both of us, we needed to discontinue any communication. He needs to stop coming to see me and even becoming a part of my family's life altogether. As a result of my strong relationship with his older brother, I plan on accompanying him to North Carolina in case he decides to tell his brother about what's been going on in my life. Later, STBX contacted me to tell me that he wants me and the baby to be a part of his life. Even though he wasn't the biological father, he was the legal father. I didn't say anything in response to him. When he approached me about getting an abortion a few weeks ago, I was completely at a loss for what to say. I'm planning to change my phone number and may even move to a new location. To answer the most often asked question, no, my STBX was not the source of the problem. He isn't helpless, and he doesn't just shoot blanks at random. I am the source of the issue. Without a doubt, he'll have children without any problems, but not with me. I have absolutely no clue how or why I got pregnant. The only explanation offered by the doctor was that I had done it on purpose. When you'll worry about it and just let it to happen, it will happen as it should. It happened to me as well. It is impossible to predict whether or not I will get pregnant again. The new dude has been fantastic with me. We didn't make any preparations, and we're both nervous since we don't know who the other is. Nonetheless, we spoke about it, and I told him that I wanted the child and that he was free to go. He, on the other hand, did not. I suppose the worst-case scenario is that we divorce and I end up as a single parent, which isn't all that bad. In the meanwhile, we're simply enjoying ourselves together, which has been amazing. I've never had such tremendous pleasures in my whole effing life, so there aren't any complaints. I hope we will be able to stay together. I pray for the well-being of my child and I wish everyone a pleasant day, except the nasty ones. 
Story 2. Married for 19 years before my wife cheated on me. This is my first visit to Reddit. I'll be 75 in July, and I've seen a lot. To be honest, I wanted to share my tale with the younger generation before I died. Because I have lung cancer and don't expect to live much longer, this information has to go out there. In 1964, I was 18 years old when I married. It's as though I'm no longer the same person. I used to be in excellent physical condition, but now I'm confined to a wheelchair. My wife and I had to work full-time since I didn't have enough money to support both of us. She cleaned hotel rooms while I worked on construction. We never had children and yet had time to ourselves on weekends. I don't believe we ever fought, but it's been so long that I'm forgetting and we didn't have any problems getting along. I began to generate more money over time, and she was able to leave her work and remain at home. I would work longer nights, however, and our marriage honestly deteriorated into a friendship. We seldom had, and although I still loved her, I felt something was missing. We didn't spend nearly enough time together in the end. I accept responsibility for taking us down the wrong path with my employment. As you will see later, this was not the only problem, but I should have corrected it while I still had the opportunity. When I go home from work one night, everything seems to be usual. Dinner was served, and the TV was on a baseball, which used to be my favorite sport. I chatted to her briefly in the kitchen before going to my room to change out of my work clothes. When I walked in, I saw a box of condoms on my nightstand. I began to worry since I had a vasectomy years ago and had never used condoms. I quickly questioned my wife about them, and she was unable to come up with an answer in time. She burst into tears and confessed to the infidelity. She brought a co-worker over for while I was away and apparently failed to dispose of the condoms. I'm not embarrassed to confess that I, too, was moved to tears after hearing that. When I asked her why she did this, she replied she wasn't attracted to me, was lonely, and didn't like our physical relations. I couldn't think of anything to say and ended up leaving. We divorced after 19 years of marriage. I was a catastrophe in my 40s. I had lost all hope and tried to continue. I began drinking and gradually developed into an alcoholic. It took me until I was in my 60s to break this habit. I couldn't look in the mirror and see myself as a failure of a guy. I wanted to date again, but I was afraid that the same thing might happen. It never occurred to me that I was awful in bed and I had no good responses. My skin began to wrinkle a little, particularly on the back of my legs, but I took care in keeping my figure for a long and I swore she loved it when I had throughout our marriage. I preserved my tough man persona into my thirties and I still wore my bandana during, which she got appealing. I was a generous person who always went down on her when she asked. I utilized cock rings to keep erections going and could always climax extra hard, which was a fetish of hers. I couldn't do anything else if I tried my hardest. However, as time passed, I began to consider the thought that was it all that vital at an older age, and I began dating again approximately five years ago. We don't have an active life, but she assured me that nothing was wrong with me. I remarried last year, which made me very happy but sadly it was also the time when I was diagnosed with cancer. I've lost a lot of energy since then, and my new wife is the only one who keeps me going. We're attempting chemotherapy, but the outlook is grim. In my final days, I'd want to contribute some of the information I've gained over the years in order to make the world a better place. My mental faculties are also deteriorating, therefore, I need to act quickly. I hope everyone who reads this can take something from me to make their lives better.